I got a screen over there. Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Growing Together Ministry Worldwide, and we greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in. We love you, and pray that God keep on blessing you. Thank you. Let's go into the Word. Let's go into prayer. Father, we just come boldly to the throne of grace, take mercy, find grace in the time of need. Bless your Holy Spirit, teaching God us in your truth. As we read your holy words, let it burn into our heart, our mind, our soul, and thought. Let it abide in us as we abide in your word. May we prosper in everything we do in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go into the word here. Oh, we are under the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Growing together in ministry worldwide. We are under the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the church ain't under that. Something wrong. Amen. Hallelujah. Our overseer, our bishop, Pastor David Ray and Lisa Ray, we thank God for them. The Bible said give honor, well, honor due. Amen. Hallelujah. When you give honor, honor due, you get blessed. Amen. And you know we got to give thanks most of all to, to Jesus. The son of the living God. We got to give thanks for Jesus. All that he done on the cross for us. Died, buried, and rose on the third day that we can live a good life. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm going to give thanks for Jesus. Thank Amen. God for all of you on the website, YouTube, Facebook. We thank God for your Kingdom Purpose TV. Thank God you were linked on all the other websites. We thank God you for tuning in. And I pray that this message bless you that God has given me today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray it bless you, guide you, and protect you. In Jesus' name, as you listen to the word. Let's go into the word here. Amen. The title of this message tonight, this evening, the title is The Blessing of God. I, don't you want to know the blessings of God? I don't know about you, but I get excited when you say the blessings of God. Oh, yeah. And if some people serve in God and they don't even know they are blessings. They don't know how blessed they really are. So I, the title of this message, The Blessings of God, amen? I, and, and, and the subtitle is God's Abundant Blessings Bring Sorrow, No Sorrow. I'm going to say that again. God's Abundant Blessings Bring No Sorrow. Because God's blessings never bring sorrow. It brings happiness, joy, and peace, amen? amen? Hallelujah. Let's go into the Word. My introduction, amen? I'm going to go into the Word, uh, Hebrews 6 and 7. You don't have to turn to it, but if you want to, you can. Amen? Because I'm just going to give you an introduction. God give a rain uh, 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 for us. Amen? God want to bless us. Amen? Let's go into Hebrews 6 and 7. It says here in Hebrews 6 and 7, it says, land that drinks in the rain. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about the blessings of God now. Land that drinks in the rain often falling on it and, and that produce a crop useful to those whom is in fame receive the blessing. What? Of God. We're talking about the blessings of God. God bless us with rain. Amen? And rain water the crops. Amen? And they give us food. So God is blessing us when we don't know God blessing us. We need to be thankful for the rain. Some people are not thankful for the rain. But without the rain, you will have no crops. We won't have no, no harvest. Amen? Amen? So you got to go thank God for the rain. Amen? Especially when he blessed your life. Amen? You need to thank him. So Lord, I thank you for everything. Food, clothes, and a roof of my head. We need to be grateful yes, for the sir. blessings of God. Amen? Oh, yeah. It says here, the blessings of God. Amen? Let's go to Proverbs. I'm going to turn a little bit, and then I'm going to get into the word. Amen? Just a little bit. Not much this time. I'm not going to stay as long as I did last message. Amen? What a mighty God we serve. Let's go to Proverbs. Amen? Let's go to uh, the book of Proverbs. And we're going to find out what God wants to see in Proverbs. I just want to give you a little example of what God wants to do in our lives and how he wants to bless. Proverbs chapter 10. Amen? In the 22nd verse. Let's go to the 22nd verse and see what God has to say about the blessings, his blessings. Amen? It says the 22nd verse. Are you ready? If you don't have the word, the word come by hearing, hearing by what? The word of God. It says in Proverbs 10 and 22. It says here, talking about the blessing of God. The blessing of the Lord brings what? Wealth. How many believe that the blessings of the Lord brings wealth? That means you're going to prosper. When you have the blessings of the Lord with you, you're going to prosper in everything you do for the Lord. Amen? Mm -hmm. now, the blessing of the Lord brings no sorrow, but it brings wealth. In, in your life. Amen. You're going to be blessed. Amen. And without pain, toil, for it. Amen. So God took say when he gives something, he's not going to put you through a lot of pain and suffering. God's blessing brings wealth and he wants to see you prosper spiritually, physically, and financially. You got to get that in your spirit. Some people don't believe God want to bless you. But God truly want to bless his children. God truly want to bless us. Amen. He gives us the sunshine. He gives the moon. He gives us the stars in the sky for night. He want to bless us beyond that. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. I don't know about you, but the blessing of the Lord brings no sorrow. The wealth, they say, it's just a blessing from the Lord. Amen. And it says in 22, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth. And I believe that God wants us to prosper. If you get it in your spirit that God wants you to, to prosper, I think I need to believe that you'll bless others when you prosper. Amen? Amen. That's how you prosper. You bless others and God keep feeding you. He keep on blessing you. Amen? Amen. But if you keep it all to yourself, God ain't gonna put something and you ain't sharing with nobody. Amen? Amen. When we learn how to share as Christians, God will bless us. Amen? Amen. They say the blessings of God. The blessings of God bring no sorrow. The blessings of God bring no fear, no doubt, no worry. The blessings of God give you strength to prosper. Amen? Let's go into Psalms 24 and 5. I'm, I'm almost finished in, in this uh, introduction, and then we're going to go straight to the word. Amen? Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. I'm going in Psalms. So I just want to encourage you just a little bit, if you don't mind. 24 verse, uh, at the fifth verse. Amen? They say they will receive blessings from who? From the Lord. It says in Proverbs here, in the fifth verse, uh, Proverbs, uh, Proverbs uh, I mean, Psalms 24 and 5. I'm going to get that right. Psalms 24 and 5. It says here, it says in the fifth verse that they, they will receive blessings from the Lord right. and vindication from God, their Savior. That's right. See, God want to bless us and he want to vindicate us. That means he want to, to, to revenge us. When people hurt us and do us wrong, God will, God will be, if we hold our peace, the Lord will what? Fight our battle. Oh, yeah. Amen? That's why I tell people, don't try to vindicate, don't try to fight your own battle. But let God fight your battle. Amen? Amen. Ah, just hold your peace. If I was to resist the devil, he'll be from you. But sometimes that people will attack you. And you gotta hold your peace and let the oh, police yeah. fight your battle. Kind of get up in the sand. Amen. You gotta put the law on them. Amen. But still, if you can hold your peace and let the Lord fight your battle, he will vindicate you. He will protect you. Amen. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And they will receive blessing from the Lord, it says here. Uh, from God, our Savior. How many want to receive blessing from the Lord? Yes. Amen. The Lord said, let me vindicate you. Let me, let me fight your battle. Don't you fight your own battle. Don't you go out this time no trouble. But let me vindicate you. Let me protect you. Let me take care of you. Amen? That's right. Let me revenge you. Amen? He said, vengeance is the Lord. It's not ours. We need to hold our peace and let the Lord fight our battle. Amen? Amen. And so many people get in trouble today. Children of God get in trouble because they, they won't hold the peace and let the Lord fight their battle. Mm -hmm. They said, vengeance is mine, not the Lord. They can go out there and get in trouble and go to jail for no reason at all. And God wants us to hold our peace and let them fight our battle. Amen? They say in Proverbs 11 and 11. Let's turn to Proverbs 11 and 11. And I'm just about we're going to get down in some deep stuff today. God's going to bless us. Amen? Through his word. 11 and 11. Amen? Proverbs 11. And Latin. It says here in the word of God, faith come out hearing human by the word of God. It said, through the blessings, we're talking about the blessings of God. Amen. Amen. Through the blessings of the upright, a city is what? Exalted. Amen. The blessings of the upright. Mm -hmm. That means Amen. when people, godly, is in charge, mm -hmm. we're going to be blessed. Oh, yes. This this nation is going to be blessed uh, 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 when the righteous is in charge. I'm going to say it that way. The na this, this nation is going to be blessed when we put God first back on the throne. Amen? Amen? This nation that we're living in today, we want to be blessed. And how can we be blessed if we don't submit to the King of Kings and the Lord Lords? Amen? Amen? I don't know about you, but it says here, and, and here in this word, God's word here, and I'm looking right in my face, 11 and 11, it says here, through the blessings of the upright, a city is that what? Exalted. But by the mouth of the wicked is destroyed. We got to not put people that are wicked in high places. That's right. Amen. I don't know about you. Our job is to follow the righteous, not the sinner. Amen. But we love the sinner, but it ain't our job to follow them. We got to follow Christ. Amen. And those who represent Christ. Amen. And those who do good and not evil. I don't know about you. This nation would be a better nation to live in. The um, United States of America would be better if we just put God first. And everything else is going to fall in line. Amen. Amen. Pray that God put godly people in leadership all over the nation, all over the world. Amen. Not just the United States of America, but every nation need godly leaders. Amen. Amen. And hallelujah. We need to tighten up and start praying and stop mumbling and complaining about everything. Amen. 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 I like being this and that. If you get out there and vote and your vote count, then things will change. Amen. That's right. Some Christians don't believe in but but they don't believe in voting. They say, I don't believe this. I'm not of this world. I say, as long as you own this earth, you are. Amen? 
you, your spirit might not be of this world, but if you are of this world, as long as you're in the flesh, amen? Right. And you need to vote and, and, and the government and all that stuff. You need to get involved with things, amen? Our job is to get involved and, and, and pray for the leaders that in charge that God would change their heart and change their mind, amen? Yeah. They do the godly things, amen? That's right. Mm -hmm. We need to mom and complain and get involved, amen? It's Ezekiel, this it. Uh, Ezekiel 34 and 26. And this is the last one I'm going to turn to, and then we're going to go straight in the Word. I just want to encourage you just a little bit. Ezekiel. Turn to Ezekiel. Oh, hallelujah. Happy Holy Ghost. God, help me with your Word. God, your words of lamp into our feet. And a light into our path. Amen? Without God's word, we can't make it in this world, can we? We cannot live. We cannot move. We cannot have our being without being in, 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 in God. Amen? I don't know about you, a Christian, get connect, disconnected from God. He's going to be what? Lost. Amen? Ezekiel. Let's go to Ezekiel 34. Amen? We got to stay connected to the life source. Amen? And his name is what? Jesus. The son of living God. When we stay connected to the life source, God can bless us. Amen? But you get disconnected, you, 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 you get curses in your life and all kinds of habit in your life. Amen? It's in Ezekiel 34 and 26. It says here, Oh, hallelujah, what a mighty God we serve. We're going to turn that and you're going to see the blessings of the Lord. What I'm saying to you here, 34 and 26. I will make them a place surrounding my hill. A blessing. Amen. This is what he said. I will make them a place surrounding my hill of blessing. God got hills of blessing that he want to bless his people. But we got to make God our source. That's right. We got to take our home, everything we have, and give it to God. Dedicate things back to God, your children, your family. Give them to God. Give everything you've got to God. What I mean by that, show God, say, Lord, everything I have belongs to you. And whatever you do in my life, God, I, I, I'm willing to do it. Amen? Yeah. Say yes to God and no to the devil. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. Hey, that little father here. I will send down showers of, in seasons, and there will be showers of blessing. How many of you want showers of blessings in your life? Oh, yes. you got to connect yourself to God the Father. Amen? God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. When you connect yourself to them, that's when God can bless you with his blessing. Can I hear what You got to stay connected to the source. If you disconnect from the source, you're going to die and wither up like grass. Can I get what you said? But if we stay connected to the source, or we're going to be like green pastors. We're going to grow and, and we're going to run without fainting. We're going to be able to praise God. We're going to be able to worship him in spirit and in truth. I don't know about you, but the blessing of the Lord brings no sorrow. And I'm going to show you in the word now as we go deep in the word. That was just an introduction, but I'm going to show you in the word. Galatians 3. I want you to turn to Galatians 3. And this is coming from uh, the blessings of the Lord. God's abundant blessings bring no sorrow. Amen. Let's go to the, to the word of God. And I'm going to show you in the word that God, uh, 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 I'm going to show you the blessings of the Lord. Amen. And once you know the blessing of the Lord, then you can't, you got no excuse but be blessed. Amen. And you ain't got no excuse to be be mumbling and complaining all the time. I don't have this and I don't have that. When the only thing you need to do is connect yourself to your father, your heavenly father. Amen? When you connect Amen. yourself to the heavenly father, he's going to shower blessings in your life. Amen? Oh, it's at Galatians 3. Let's go to Galatians 3. And then well, this is going to come from our, our, my text. This is going to really, this is the main text here. 3. I mean, Galatians 3. And let's go down to uh, the 13th verse and the 14th verse. And then I'm going to jump over to 3 and 23 through 29. Right? Amen. Galatians 3, 13 and 14. I'm going to read. Amen. And as I read, God, have your way. Have your way in this message, God. Bless your people, God. Show us, God, the blessings that you have for us and where our blessings come from. Amen. It says here in the word, and that's 13. And we're going to read 14. Amen. It says, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. How do you believe Christ be redeemed us from the curse of the law? Oh, yes. See, the law came yes. in the Old Testament, and they lived under the law, and they killed animals and all kinds of sacrifices and everything to be blessed. Amen? They covered their sins. They had to kill animals and goats and bulls, all kinds of stuff they did. But thank God, Jesus Christ, it says right here in the Word, they said, Jesus cursed, he, the Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. That means we're not under the law anymore. Amen? By becoming a curse for us, for it is written, what? Cursed to everyone that hang on a pole. Christ died for us to be blessed. God sent his only begotten son. Oh, yeah. That whoever believed in him should not what? Perish. But have what? 
everlasting life. You don't think that's a big, that's blessing there. Christ is a blessing to us. Amen. Without Christ, you're not blessed. But with Christ, you're blessed. That's right. I don't know about you. I'd rather be with Christ than be blessed than to be without him and be cursed. Amen? Amen. They say that he bare our sins on the cross. He died, buried, and rose on our, for our sins when we didn't know about sin. Before we were ever born on this earth, Christ died for everyone that's going to come on this earth. Amen? Christ died. Those who are living and those who are going to be born on this earth, Christ died for. Amen? And you don't think that's a blessing? Right there from God. I'm showing you the blessings of God. Amen. Yeah. It says right here in the word of God. The 14th verse. He redeemed us from the uh, us in order. That the blessings of what? Giving to Abraham might come to the Gentiles. To what? Christ Jesus. I'm showing you the blessings of God. Look at this. What Look what God is saying in his word here. It says here. It says um, he redeemed us in order that the blessings given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles. What kind of blessing came from Abraham? Bless you going out. Bless you coming in. All kinds of blessings. Your, your, uh, uh, Abraham had so many blessings that were promised uh, uh, through his descendants, which we are when you get in Christ Jesus. You are Abraham descendant. Amen? Yes, sir. And, and, and they say right here that he they redeemed us. Christ did. Redeemed us in order that the blessings given to Abraham might come upon the Gentiles through Christ Jesus. How did the blessing come to the Gentile? Through Abraham, through Christ Jesus, when he died and buried and for us. That's how we are being blessed by God. I want to talk about the blessing because some people don't believe in God's blessing. They don't believe God will bless them. But I'm showing you through Abraham, they say that the Gentiles might be blessed through Christ Jesus. That means all the blessing that God promised Abraham belong to us. Amen. Through who? Christ Jesus. And not ourselves. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm joyful to know that I'm blessed through a I'm a, I'm a seed of Abraham. Amen. Amen. And I'm gonna be blessed just like Abraham. Amen. That's right. Everywhere Abraham went, won't he bless? Mm -hmm. Oh my Lord, help me, Jesus. Yes, you need to know the blessings of God. Amen. It said, redeem us from the order of the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus. How do we get blessed? Through Christ Jesus. He's the key to Abraham blessing for us here. Amen. Anything that's not a Jew is a Gentile. That's right. Amen. And if we want to be blessed, us Gentiles want to be blessed. We got to connect ourselves to the blesser. And his name is Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Amen. It says here, it's going to look up. He who redeemed us in the order for the blessing given to Abraham, come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. That means that we can live a new life. By the Spirit of God. That means Amen. we can be blessed spiritually, physically, and financially as we connect ourselves to the blesser. And his name, our Heavenly Father. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. We got to stay connected to the blesser in order to be blessed. Do you believe that? Amen. If we don't stay connected to him, curses come in our lives. So we, if we stay, if we, as long as we make Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, yeah. we're going to have the blessings of Abraham in our life. Everywhere Amen. we spread our feet, we're going to be blessed. Amen. Everything that God promised Amen. Abraham belongs to us. And we need to stop crying about simple little small stuff. We need to look at the whole big picture. That Christ died that we can receive Abraham blessing. Oh, yeah. Amen. That we can be prosperous on this earth while we're here now. And be prosperous when we get to heaven. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The new heaven and the new earth. God, let's go down a little farther. Let's jump down to uh, uh, Galatians 3, 22. And I'm going to close in a few minutes. Amen. Let's jump down to Galatians 23. Mm -hmm. Galatians 3, chapter 3, 23. Don't read down to 29, and we're going to close it out. Amen? Ask the Lord give it to me. He said, children of God, listen, with the blessings of God I'm talking about, I'm talking about God's abundant blessings bring no sorrow. When God bless you, there's no sorrow behind his blessing. But when the devil bless you, you better look out. He's out to kill, steal, and destroy your life. Amen. Amen. I've seen a lot of people prosper, and now they land up in jail. Gotta listen to the wrong voice. Can't get away from it. Instead of listening to the voice of Christ, they listen to the voice of the devil. Amen. Amen. Let's go down a little farther here. Before the coming of this faith, listen to the children of God. Before the coming of this faith, we were held in custody under the law. Before Christ, now, before Christ died, we buried and rose. We was under what? We was under the law. Amen. Locked up until the faith that was to come would be revealed. Talk about Jesus Christ here, the Son of God. 
Once he revealed, once he came in the picture, blessings of Abraham came upon our life. Amen? Amen. And it says here, a little farther down, so the law was under God until Christ came that we might be justified by what? Faith. Faith in him. That's trust, obedience, and expectation. When you give your life to Christ, you're going to be blessed. Oh, yes. That means you're going to prosper mm -hmm. in everything you do for Christ. Amen? Yes, sir. It says here now that this faith has come, we are no longer under the God. We're not under the law no more. No, no. But we're under grace now. Mm -hmm. Amen? When, when we're under grace now, nobody got an excuse not to go to heaven. Nobody got no excuse uh, 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 not to accept Christ now. Because Christ died for all human race. Amen? I don't care what race you are, what color you are. Amen. Christ died that you can receive Amen. Abraham blessing. Amen? Amen? That's right. Amen. And a new heaven and new earth someday. Amen? So you ain't got no excuse now. Your mom and dad and nobody. You can't say, they, 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 I, I, I can't sit the Lord because of what my mom and dad did. You can't got no excuse now. Because Jesus paid the price that we can be blessed. Amen? And I don't know about you, but it feels good to be blessed. I don't know about you, it feels good to be blessed by the King of Kings and the Lord. So in Christ, it's Satan 26 by closing. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through what? Faith. How do we become children of God? Through faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence is not seen. Faith is acting on the word of God. That's all faith is. You gotta act on the word of God. Instead of reading it, you gotta act on it. Amen? Amen. And when you act on the word of God, that faith operates. And God uh, began to bless you. Uh, Abraham blessing. Amen? Amen? You begin to walk in that power, that love, and sound mind. That's a blessing from God. If you want to talk about blessing, walking in that power, love, and a sound mind to be able to prosper. Amen? Yes, sir. And not Amen. faith. Can I get a witness in here? And just about finishing, for of all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. Therefore, neither Jew nor Gentile. Amen? Neither slave nor free. Nor they are male or female, for you all are one in what? Christ Jesus. Amen. When we're in the body of Christ, we're going to be blessed by our Heavenly Father. We're going to be blessed by our God. Can I get a witness in here? Well, if you ain't blessed today, you need to check yourself and make sure that you're in Christ. All right. And amen. not in yourself. Right. Amen. Amen. That's no, God to have no respect of a person. He'll bless anybody that serve him, that put him first in his life. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. We can't look to people to get blessed. We got to look to our Heavenly Father to get blessed. Amen. We got to look, look to the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost to get blessed. Amen. God will text people hard to bless you if you just walk upright. Amen. And do what he tells you to do. Amen. So in Christ, Jesus says in closing, there's neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free. There's neither male nor female. For you all are one in Christ. That means we're going to receive Abraham's blessing if we walk upright and do right. Amen. They say, if you belong to Christ, then you are what? Abraham what? Seed. Amen. And if you're Abraham seed, you are blessed. And God is going to keep on blessing you. And you're hired, hired a, 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 according to the promise. And we know Abraham promised how all the blessings came to Abraham. And all those blessings belong to us. But we need to believe. The Bible said if you believe right, you will live right. If you believe wrong, you will live wrong. If only you can believe all things are possible to him that believe. Amen. If only you can believe what this word says, it will operate in your life. And if things begin to get a move in your life and you begin to get blessed by God, it says the blessings of God. It says God abundant blessings and it brings no sorrow. So when you Amen. put Christ first, look out for the blessings. It's going to come your way. I'm telling you, this is going together ministry. And we love you. We thank God for you. But I come to tell you, when you put Christ first, everything else is going to fall in line. You're going to receive the blessings of God when you put his son first in your life. When you make him king of kings and lord of lords in your life. When you do that, God will move in a miraculous way in your life. I'm telling you, I'm blessed because of Christ. I'm not blessed because of what I have and all that. I'm blessed because I need Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. That's the only reason I'm blessed. Only reason my house is blessed because of Christ. Only believe, only reason my family is blessed because of Christ. I'm telling you, when you get in Christ, <laughs> the blessings of God will chase you down. Amen. I mean, He will give you power to prosper. Amen. Like Joseph, and he told Joseph, what he said, uh, wherever he went, he was being blessed. Won't he? Just he was being blessed. Amen. I'm telling you, when God blesses is on you, everywhere you go, you're gonna prosper. Amen. So I come to tell you. Stay in the will of God and be blessed by God. 
Amen. Enjoy that abundant life, that blessings that bring no sorrow. When you put Christ first in your life, yes, everything sir. is going to be all right. Yes. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, everything sir. is going to be all right. Put yes. Christ first. And I love you. My name is Pastor Jerry Hardy, and it's Growing Together Ministry. I'm Pastor Dave Ray, Lisa Ray, our overseers, my bishop, which I love. I love all of them. I love my church family. Thank you for all tuning in. But if you want the blessings of God, put him first. Yes, and put Christ first. And watch the Abraham blessing come into your life and bless you when you put Christ first. And when you get Abraham blessing, you're going to be able to shout hallelujah. You're going to say, God, I just thank you for all the blessings of Abraham. My, being blessed going in and blessed coming out when you got Abraham's seed. If you read about Abraham, how he was being blessed, you can see the blessings that belong to you, what Christ did on the cross for us. Amen. He died, buried, and rose for you and I to be blessed. That means to prosper in him, to be able to bless others, to be able to bless his church. God has blessed you to be a blessing to others. Oh, yeah. And when you bless others, God will release his blessings mm -hmm. in your life. So put God first and watch what God will do in your life. I know this is going together, man. We just love you. And we thank you for all the gifts that you have been giving the church. And as you give bless the church, we're going to bless others. And I thank you for all the gifts. And, and, and God is going to bless you. I pray that God keep on blessing you spiritually physically, and financially as you support Growing Together Ministry. And we are in the body of Christ. Amen. And we are Abraham's seed. And whatever you, if you give a, a man of God a drink of water, they say you're going to be blessed. And if you bless Growing Together Ministry, Amen. God is going to bless you. And he's going to bless you. We will thank you for all the blessings you have blessed the church with, but we can bless others. Now keep on blessing God, church, and watch what God do in your life. I promise you the blessings of God is going to overflow your, your life. If you just learn how to give and not and not keep everything for yourself. Bless the church and watch what God do. Hallelujah. God is good. This is growing together ministry. I love you. That the blessings of God, and I'm telling you, the abundant blessings of God bring no sorrow. So remember, give God praise. Give him honor. Give him glory for all the blessings that he has blessed us with. And I tell you, when you when the praises go up. The blessings come down. Amen. So let's give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. The God that we serve is not dead. He's still alive. He's still alive forevermore. Without him, you can't do nothing. The Bible says without Christ, you can't do nothing. But with Christ, you can do all things. Through Christ that strengthens you. Yeah, when you yeah. put Christ first, everything else will fall in line. Woo. The blessings of yeah. God will chase you down. I'm yeah. telling you, because I'm living that life. Amen. Yeah. What a mighty God we serve. He's just wonderful. He's awesome. Yeah. He's mighty. He's all magnificent. I mean, he's awesome. I said, our God is awesome and worthy to be praised. And when you learn how to praise him, he said he's going to bless you. Oh, yeah. He's going to bless you like Abraham. He's going to bless you going out and you're coming yeah. in. God is going to bless you real good. Right. So I need you to give him some praise yeah. up in here. Right. I need you to give him some honor up in here right. because right. of the blessings that Christ yeah. did for us on the cross. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. And I love you. Be blessed. In Jesus.